Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to create an Einstein Copilot demo org or trial org or trailhead org, however you wanna call it. This was really, really tricky to find, so I will leave this down in the description so you can go ahead and you can sign up for it and enable it. You can do some of the other Trailhead projects that are listed here and you can just search for those in Trailhead and you should be able to find them. But this is just quick, simple how to get the org. So I am going to fill out Emily call and let's do sfemilycall at gmail.com. And I'm gonna say admin call solutions for company, country, United States, and then I'm gonna do a postal code. This is not my actual postal code, just for security purposes. I'm going to say, sign me up. Now, I did do this a couple days ago and it only took like, I wanna say a minute. So I'll come back when this is ready. Right now it is almost one o'clock, but it is 12.59. So you'll be able to see that timestamp. Okay, so we are back. Yeah, it took like no time at all. <laughs> it really came back before it came became one o'clock. I am going to do a couple things, but first be sure to save this username because with other trailhead orgs, you can choose your username, but not with this one. This one is a little tricky. Now, if you're trying to connect it to your trailhead account, be aware that it might take a few tries to get in and to get it connected. It took me maybe three or four tries to get it connected. So let's go ahead and open this up and reset the password. So then we can actually set the password. Right. It does need to have one letter and one number uh, and a security question, what city were you born in? I'm gonna say Salesforce for security purposes. And let's change the password. But there we go, we have set up that org. Now, if we wanna go jump into setup here, you, it isn't automatically set up. Uh, you need to go in and then do all the setup for Einstein and toggle on all the features. So let's go into like Einstein here. Uh, then you'd wanna go into Einstein setup and then turn it on and then you'll be able to turn on all those different features that you wanna turn on. But that is a quick, simple how to get started with your uh, generative AI org within Salesforce. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.